Hello everyone. So today we will learn about understanding Prometheus and installing it with Docker using EC2 server. So basically we will launch EC2 instance. With that, in the SHS client, we will launch Docker and Prometheus. So let's go. So basically Prometheus is an open source monitoring and alerting toolkit. The purpose of Prometheus that it helps in recording real-time metrics in time series database. Key features are multi-dimensional data model, powerful query language, alerting capabilities. So basically Prometheus is used in monitoring systems, services and containers. Now, why Prometheus? Flexibility supports various data sources and integration. Scalability handles large-scale deployments and high cardinality. Community support. Active community for updates, plugins, and troubleshooting. Prometheus components are Prometheus server, then data model, query language, alert manager. All these Prometheus components we are going to see in detail in the next session. Now, Docker. Understanding the Docker. Docker is a platform for developing, shipping, and running applications. Key concepts are Docker's are containers, lightweight, portable and self-sufficient environment. Then Docker engine, it is the runtime that executes and manages containers. Docker images, immutable snapshots used to create containers. Then Docker file, instructions for building Docker images. Now, benefits of Docker for Prometheus installation. Portability, consistent environments across different systems. Isolation. Encapsulates Prometheus and its dependency. Simplify deployment. Easy setup and management of Prometheus instances. Now installing Prometheus using Docker. So here first we will connect to your EC2 instance. For that we will launch one EC2 instance and then we will connect it using SSH. Now we will install the Docker in it. Then we will create a Docker network then Docker volume. Then we will create a directory in it and then we will set up everything and then the uh, URL used for the Prometheus, we will use it to check the if Prometheus is running or not. So let's go. So here I have uh, logged into my EC2, sorry, my AWS and here in the EC2 dashboard, we will click on the launch instances. So first we are going to launch the instance. So here I will provide the name as demo. And I am going to select the Ubuntu machine for this session. We will keep the instance type to T2 micro only. And keep here, if you have any key pair existed, then you can select it and if you don't have, you can create the new one. So I will select the existing one. And in network setting, we will go with the default VPC. We will select the existing security group. Here, I will go with the default one. And now, we will see everything is good to go. Okay, so I have given the name demo. Selected the Ubuntu machine. T2 micro instance type, key pair selected demo, network setting kept default one and now number of instance also one and now we will click on the launch instance. So we have to wait till the instance get launched. Let's go to instances here. You can see the instance state is pending. We have to wait till the instance state is running and the status 2x2 two two check is passed. Okay, so instance is now in running state. Let's click on it. We have to check box this click. And here, go to security. And in security, go to inbound rules. In inbound rules, we have to check that the 9090 that is port for Prometheus is allowed or not. Or you may all port or all traffic are allowed. You can select this also. 
so please check this before going further now again let's see if your status check 2 by 2 is pass or not so till the status check is passed we will go to details of demo instance and here we will just copy this public ip address now let's go to mobile extern that is our ssh client for today's session we are going with mobile extern so here below the terminal see the session is written over here let's click on this and here we have to select the ssh and here i will paste the remote host that is the public ip address of our instance then we will specify the username so as we have selected the ubuntu machine so here i will provide the name as ubuntu now in advanced ssh setting we will select the use private key and here we will select the key which i have already downloaded let's scroll down search for our key so here you can see demo.perm extension key is present let's click on it select it and we will open it so before click on ok let's go to the our management console here you can see the 2 by 2 check is pass or not the 2 by 2 check is still not passed okay so here you can see the status check is passed now we will go to our session and we will click on okay so let's accept this and now our authentication is done now i have uh, copied the syntax for this so first we will uh, launch or update the docker and we will install it so copy this command and paste it in our session so let's hit the enter button so now the package for docker is installing you can see over here we have to wait till the package get installed so now do you want to continue the message is displayed we will click we will just enter the y and hit the enter so again the installation is now in progress you can see till this progress get 100 percent we have to wait okay so everything is installed now we will go for the next that is the creating the network prometheus hyphen net let's select this command and copy it on our session let's hit the enter now let's select this creating the volume And now we will select this command. As you can see, the permission is denied. So we will again create the network. Let's see what happened this time. Okay. Now Docker network is created. And now we will again select the creating the docker volume and let's copy paste it in our session and hit the enter okay so now every command is running till now now we will make a directory let's copy this command and paste in our session now we will create the prometheus.yml file let's select this command copy in git and we will paste it in our ssh let's hit the enter so here 
we are going to copy this syntax. This will create the uh, Prometheus file with the scrap interval of five seconds. We will see everything this in the later session. Now, for now, we will just copy this syntax. And here in the target, we are going to replace it with our IP address of instance. So I will just paste it. And here I will replace it with my IP address. So let's go to the EC2 dashboard and here select this demo. The instance which is running and we will just copy this public IP address. And let's replace this IP address with our IP address. Okay, so let's save this file and we will exit from this file. Now, we will create the nano docker file. Let's select this command, copy this command and paste in our session. Hit the enter. Now here, we will copy this syntax and we will paste it. Let's save this and let's exit from this file. Okay. Now we will select the next command that is docker build. So let's copy this command and paste it in our session. Hit the enter button. Okay. Now let's go. And the last command that is run this port that is 9090. I have already told this port is for Prometheus. Let's select this syntax and just copy it over here and let's hit the enter. So, okay. Docker is pulling the image for Prometheus. So, you can see the image for Prometheus is downloaded. In this way, we have installed the Docker with Prometheus. Now, we just have to cross check, cross verify that our Prometheus is running or not. For that, we will select this IP browser. And let's go in browser here, paste this IP and we your EC2 instance IP, we have to replace it with our instance ID, public IP. So let's copy this. And here, I will paste it. Okay, so now hit the enter. And now you can see the Prometheus is successfully installed. So in this way, We have seen how to install the Prometheus to EC2 instance using Ubuntu machine. Then we have seen why we are using Docker for it. Then uh, see, we have done all these steps and we have accessed the Prometheus web UI. So Prometheus is a powerful monitoring and altering tool, sorry, alerting tool. And with Docker integration, it simplifies installation and management. So if you have any doubt, you can contact us at support at the rate devopsin.com. Thanks for watching.